Mary and Joseph stayed in a stable because there was no room at the inn. Here, you choose the stable with the horse and pay upwards of £250 for the experience. Tamara and I just had this sort of light bulb moment where we thought, wow, why has nobody ever done this before? Um, and because the Frisians are such friendly, people oriented horses, we thought this has to be something that we can we can at. And from what we saw, we couldn't find anybody else in the world who, who had done something similar to this. And this stable is perfect for it. So here you share your room with Hannes the horse or JB the Shetland pony. They were both rescues and now, well, living up in the lap of luxury. So Hannes stays in the stable, but you can stroke him from the top bunk while JB can wander around your room, getting up to mischief. There you go. I'm being fed. Yes. It's quite surprised me because we've had a variety of different people coming along. Some people have never had anything to do with horses. Uh, some, some people bring their children along and this is where JB is ideal for, for the little people. But also with, with a top bunk up there, a lot of the youngsters like to have the horse that comes and, comes and chats to them through the night while they're sleeping. <laughs> Guests cook and sleep and learn about the horses. Then we have a luxury grooming kit, so if you want to come in and pamper Hannes, who absolutely adores it, plait him up, groom him, put glitter spray on him, which he, he's had all sorts of things put on him. Or you can just sit in the living side and just enjoy that lovely sound of a, of a horse munching, which so many people find really therapeutic. Tracy is an expert in Frisian horses. The stays subsidise her work. But the business brain behind it is her sister Tamara. It's very, very difficult for farmers nowadays. This used to be a dairy farm and it was tenanted for three generations. And they found that being a dairy farm, they just couldn't afford to, to live and have a business that was, was viable. And by combining the accommodation with the equestrian side, we're building that business so that hopefully one day we may make a little bit of profit. <laughs> Farms have found all sorts of ways to diversify over the years, some more bizarre than others. This bridal suite is certainly one of a kind. Fiona Marley-Patterson, ITV News, Cartmel.